hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you for stopping by if you're new here thank you so much for tuning in don't forget to hit the subscribe button while you're at it if you're already subscribed to this channel thank you so much you are loyal and it's because of you that i make videos like this one now to jump right into the video today i will be taking down my two month old forelocks and i'll just be showing you how much length i have gathered in the past two months so as you can see i've gathered and retained some quite some length and um, today I'll be just showing you how you can take down your locks and reduce breakage and also how to deal with matted up hair after such a long protective hairstyle. So first off we're going to need some water and we're also going to need some Not On My Watch Detangler by Aunt Jackie's. This will help um, with detangling any stubborn matting and then we will need a pair of scissors and a white tooth comb so without further ado let's jump right into the video so first off i'm going to start by spritzing my hair with some plain old water and what this does is first of all it loosens off the dirt of your scalp and it also just makes your hair a bit more elastic and just uh, much easier to work with so it also sort of um, detangles your hair so you can actually get away with using water even without a detangler so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna work that water in just so that um, I know that it has spread throughout my hair next thing I'm gonna do is just cut off the burnt ends of my faux locks to make uh, the takedown easier you need to be very careful with this process because you might end up cutting um, the ends of your hair if you're unsure of the length um, if you notice the back of my faux locks were actually shorter than the front of my hair so I did give myself a good trim in the back but it wasn't so bad it wasn't much so the next step is uh, to instantly regret cutting off your ends because you wished you could keep your hair for much longer and then you get over it instantly and you start taking them down so I'm going to speed this up a little bit a quick tip while you're undoing your hair make sure that you're not pulling or tugging or leaving any tension on your scalp check out Josh that McVeigh growth example. look at all that growth all that accumulated in the past two months so make sure that you don't tug your hair or pull it so as to cause any tension to your scalp and as you can see we have accumulated some product buildup as well this can be really stubborn and can really be very difficult to detangle so we're going to take our not on my watch detangler and apply a generous amount to the matted up area this will make the detangling process so much easier so i'm just gonna apply that um, product to my hair mainly focusing on the matted up area and you can see how easily that just comes off and how easily my fingers just glide through my hair after that When we get to the front part of my hair you will notice that it is so much easier i didn't even need to use the knot on my watch detangler because i had spritzed with some water earlier so in some parts of my hair i didn't need to um, detangle much because the water had loosened up my hair um, now we are all done and that's basically how you uh, detangle your hair so you will notice that after i have taken down all my braids the detangling process will be so much easier and now we're ready to head into the shower to have a nice wash and wash off all that dirt that has accumulated over the past few weeks and i'm just going to do a quick length check with you just to show you how much length we've um, retained um so you will find that my sides are actually my problem areas i have a very hard time growing hair in my sides 
um, and this the middle part of my hair is actually where most of it most of my hair grows or where my hair grows faster and you will notice that previously my hair was that long and it is now that long so I have retained quite an amount of growth you will find again on the sides I don't have that much growth it's not a very good it's not my best areas moving on to the back you will see that I have retained at least bra strap length hair and that was my goal for 2018 but we did have some mishaps and we did have some setbacks but it's okay I'm still proud of where we are today and of course it's going to need some patience and some time to get where we need to be lengthwise but right now we're just focusing on health trying to minimize breakage and trying to see how much length we can retain so that's it guys for my hair takedown video i hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to hit the subscribe button don't forget to like and share this video bye